All right, joining us now is uh, Alamogordo Girls Basketball. They are in the middle of their summer activities, and head coach Manny V. Hill is here with us. Coach, how are you? All right. How are you doing? Fantastic. Happy to have you here. If you want to introduce, you brought uh, five ladies in here with you. Who did you bring with you? Yeah, I've got uh, we've got five returning players that have played significant minutes. Uh, we're, we're pretty young with the other group, so I brought all five of them. We've got Kylie Purcella. She'll be entering her sophomore year. Uh, Jaden Kruger will be one of the seniors. Justice Martin will be entering her junior year. Uh, Michaela Jones will also be a senior. And Alicia Munoz will be another senior next year. All right. Ladies, doing okay today? Yeah. 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 Okay. That's Great. what we like to hear. Um, Coach, I mean, you guys made it to the postseason last year, made it to the postseason last couple of years now. Um, certainly it's going to be a transition for you guys next year. There's going to be some seniors that are gone, but uh, certainly seems like you've got the program going in the direction that you want it to. Uh, yeah, we're in the right direction. Uh, this is going to be an interesting year. These five girls here are here for a reason today um, because they're going to have to put a lot on their shoulders, and it's something that they didn't really have to do too much. We didn't put too much on them as going, you know, the last couple of years, but now it's time they're in the, the spotlight because we pretty much only have a bunch of young girls in the gym right now that I'm talking about entering eighth grade entering ninth grade entering 10th grade so um they can do it they just got to add to their game and um but i think more of the leadership role is going to be the thing we're going to need to work on with with these girls yeah and you know we talked about when you first came in you you, your first year here you really didn't have a summer time to kind of work on it how crucial is it going to be for the girls to be working during the summer to be ready for the the upcoming season? Yeah, you hit it right on the money. It's it's absolutely critical. Um, we're actually going to play our first games um, against other teams around the state uh, this coming weekend. We go to New Mexico State. Uh, we did have a little scrimmage last week, and actually these girls here they actually um, played pretty well and they did some some good things in the games. We have a couple of games tonight as well here, and then. Um, we have the younger ones playing in a, in a league in Las Cruces on Wednesday nights, so that will start this week as well. But we really get our first glimpse this weekend on what we're going to have to work on and, and the things that these girls are going to have to do individually. All right. Kylie, I mean, you got to start a lot of games this last season. and we're, I mean, you were out on the floor a lot. How much did you feel like you learned from playing with some of the seniors and, and the group of players that are, that are moving on from, uh, from this last group of uh, players? Um, I definitely feel like I learned a lot, and I feel like I matured as a person and a player because I'd hang out with all the older girls, and I definitely learned to learn in line and take after them, and now I feel like I'm starting to lead some of the younger girls, and it's a good feeling, but I'm still learning a lot as well, too, because I'm still young. Yeah. Jade, now you're going to be a senior this upcoming season? Yes, sir. And, you know, you're gonna obviously going to be dependent on more by coach and by your teammates. You know, what's the biggest thing for you to want to be ready for next season and to be in that right mindset to know that, you know, it's going to be on your shoulders a little bit? Um, definitely becoming a leader and working on a lot of defense. <laughs> um, you know. That's going to be a big thing for you. Yeah, D- defenses and offensively, I mean, there's some things you want to make sure you get a little bit better at as well. Yeah, you yeah. stay down, you know. Okay, very good. We'll move over here to Justice, who, you know, you play a lot of minutes over the, over the last couple of years now. So, you know, I mean, you're going into your junior year, but yeah. you know, you've, you've had a lot of experience at the varsity level. But, again, you know, a little bit more on your shoulders this year. Are you excited about that? Um, Yeah, and nervous. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking because I've always looked up to the older girls to kind of lead and set examples for me, so... <laughs> do you feel like you learn from them, though, yeah, on how to definitely. act and what to do? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Michaela, how about you? I mean, learning from some of the, the older group and, and getting ready to, you know, as a senior, be one of those leaders. I mean, what's what's the biggest thing that you focus on in, in wanting to be a leader? Is it being vocal? Is it showing by example? What what do you feel like you need to do out there? Mm, I feel like I definitely, like, need to talk more and set, like, good examples on and off the court and just, like, keep doing that. Okay, Alicia. I mean, you're also somebody who's been gotten a lot of varsity action over the the last couple of years, and probably gonna tick up a little bit more. Are you excited about you know getting a chance to be on the floor a little bit more next season? Oh yes, I am. You know, what are some of the thi- big things that you want to be working on this off season to get ready for your senior year? Um, uh, more leadership, uh, talking more. Yeah. Do you feel like in terms of your game? I mean, are there things that you want to get a little bit better at? 
Defense and like offense more. Defense and offense. Okay, <laughs> coach. When you hear these ladies talk about some of the things, I mean, is this is the, are these the things that you want to be? Uh, you want to see them focusing on in the next season? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I think that you can hear the big the big word with this group is going to be leadership. Um, you know, it's you can't always focus on X's and O's and all that stuff. That's that's very important part of a team that you need functioning and I think these ladies see that and they understand that and it's in their front front of their minds which is good um, offensively and defensively you know well as the summer goes they'll start getting more and more individually what they need to work on um, left hands for everyone <laughs> uh, for everyone top to bottom um, and we just needed some more action inside and people kind of putting bodies on people and things like that like specifically but but again, as the summer goes, then we get to see more of exactly what what we're going to have to do, and then kind of how to fit what we're doing to their strengths. Because then every year you got to tweak it a little different. We're not going to be running around jacking up a bunch of threes this year. It'll be a little different. So um, we just got to we got to see what they're they're comfortable at this summer, and then kind of like tailor to what they need to do. Is it seeing? I mean, them play against competition. That's big for you in terms yeah. of you know. Wait, it just seeing yeah. them against good teams. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm more about hey, let's just go do and and more about actions instead of talking about it. And I just like to rather go just throw them in games and see, and then and then just kind of go start thinking and start like communicating with them and with coaches on how we got to get them in different spots and where they need the ball on the court. So. So I like I like Summers probably more than them just because I get to see. I mean, I know they like them because they get a lot of games and they don't have to do a bunch of practices and conditioning drills and all that stuff. So it's fun for everyone, and, and we get to go on some trips, and, and then we have the kids camp tomorrow too, so they'll be around helping with the little kids. So I enjoy Summers. Absolutely. Alicia, I mean, what's your favorite part about summer? Is it just you get to play basketball, there's – there's no school or any of that other stuff. I mean, what, what's your favorite about, part about summer basketball? Honestly, I think it's like everything. They're away you're doing. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. do you like the the road trips and all that stuff? That you get, you know, the, the, is there some team bonding that goes on when you get when you get to go on the road and travel with everybody? Yes. Okay. But Kayla, how about you? And what's your favorite part about summer ball? Um, my favorite part is probably like just like playing. Yeah. And like seeing what you're gonna have to deal with during season. So. Yeah. Justice, I mean, do you feel like you get a good idea of what, what's going to come in the season? Because I know some teams probably don't show everything they're going to show, but it's just, you know, going out there playing basketball, a little more pure out there. I say for the most part, yeah. I mean, you kind of see everyone's abilities and you kind of get a feel for it. So, yeah. <laughs> Jaden, I mean, what, what have you found that you enjoy? I mean, have you done summer ball the last few years with the Lady Tigers? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, <laughs> you, you've enjoyed that. I mean, what, what, what's what been your favorite part about playing? I mean, you guys played pretty much the entire month of June. I mean, I, I know when I was in school, you know, sleeping in and all that good stuff. <laughs> I, I definitely like that during the summertime. But you guys take time. You guys are traveling, doing stuff with the team. What, why do you, you know, sacrifice that? Why do you want to go out there and, and be a part of this group and be involved? I don't know, like, being around the girls is, like, it's a good atmosphere. And I have fun. You know, we bond together really well. Um, and just playing with them just... You know, keeps it keeps us going. Yeah, Kylie. I mean, what do you enjoy the most about getting out there with some, during the summertime? Um, I feel like I can just try anything out because during season I'm a little more closed, tight about what I'm supposed to do. But during summer, I can kind of see what I'm capable of and see how far I can go with it. And I get to work on what I need, what I feel like I need to work on. And I like traveling with the girls and hanging out with them and going to open gym because I'm I'm free. And basketball is how. I escape and I can do what I want there, but I can still work on what I have to do. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Very good. Uh, Coach, you mentioned that you guys have the youth camp coming up uh, starting tomorrow that will run through the 6th. If kid, you know if people still want to bring their kiddos out for that, there's still time to do yeah, that. Yeah, so registration actually starts tomorrow okay. at 8 o'clock in the morning. They can show up anytime after 8. It, the camp officially starts at 9. It will be 9 to 12 uh, the next three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So last, last summer we had about 52 girls. It's girls only. Um, anyone entering kindergarten through seventh grade can come out. Um, we do give uh, discounts for multifamily members um, that are registering. So um, it's forty dollars a camper. And again, um, if they have a couple of kids or more than that, then we g we do give them discounts on that. So all they got to do is show up, and then we'll, they'll get three days of instructions with the girls and playing and games and awards, and then they'll get a T-shirt and a basketball. 
for maybe a parent who's never brought their kid to one of these camps before. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you talked about some of the things there, but what what are some of the things that you try to impart on the kids and, and have them learn when? when oh, the bit we just work on fundamentals for the three days. It's a fundamental skill camp. And we'll just kind of break down. We'll we'll do progressions each day. We'll we'll add something a little little to the next. So if we do something basic with passing one day, then the second day we'll add to it, and then third day add to that. So it's just a progression of fundamentals, and then we let them have play games and have skill contests at the end. We we will group them up to similar abilities, and then we'll have them do contests amongst their their peers, and so they have a good time. Very good. And for these ladies, you know, getting to be a part of that, is that something that, you know, for them to maybe see a little bit through your eyes and maybe doing a little bit of coaching out there? And yes, skills, yes. Is that something you like so that's, for them to be able to yeah, see? Yeah, because that's the, the three ways you learn this game is by playing it, coaching it, and officiating it. So those are the three different lenses you can have, and it's good for them. But I like it more for the younger girls because they don't want to hear the coaches and um, up there all speaking, and they'd rather – work with uh, the high school girls and then they, they look up to them so that's how you kind of build the the numbers is through your players rather than your coaches so I, I love them working with the little kids all right Kylie have you had a chance to work with one of these youth camps or is this gonna be your first time um I worked a little bit last year but I'll be there this yeah. week too so <laughs> what was I mean what was your favorite part and, and have you had a chance to work with little kids and that that kind of thing before with, with basketball um not really I mean I'm not the best with working with kids, but <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna learn. I, though, right? I will learn to. I'll have to learn to. It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be okay. Jaden, have you had a chance to do this before? Yeah, I've done it a few times. What's been your favorite part about working with the kids? I mean, just seeing them learn. Maybe you learning a little bit by uh, about coaching them. And what's what's the big thing for you? Um, I like I like to keep them up. Like you know, so, you know, they're not the best at it, but you know, they'll get down on themselves a little bit and trying to cheer them up is. It's good. Okay. Justice, how about you? What's what's your – sh- I assume you've, you've done this before or this is going to be your first time? Oh, uh, no, I've done it before. You've yeah. done it before. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just seeing the kids grow and being able to, like, build confidence in what they're doing. So. What do you feel like you've learned from working with, with little kids? I mean, you feel patience. Like you- <laughs> a lot of patience, <laughs> let me tell you. Because <laughs> so I don't quick. have patience at all. And, yeah, I learned a lot of patience. <laughs> all right. Very good. <laughs> Michaela, have you worked with uh, little kids before? Yeah. Yeah? What's what's your favorite part about that? Um. I like whenever, like they have they struggle at something, and then they get it and they get excited and then they keep keep doing it. So then it's good to watch that. Yeah. All right, Alicia, have you a chance to work with uh, little kids before? Yes, I have. Yeah, and what what's uh, <laughs> what have you enjoyed the most about it in your times doing it previously, or what are you most looking forward to this week with them? I uh, just watch little kids play, yeah. see what they can do. Kind of takes you back. Remember when you were first learning to play yeah. basketball? Yeah. Okay. Well, again, that's going to be uh, tomorrow, starting uh, June 4th, all the way through June 6th. And, Coach, if somebody doesn't get out there on Tuesday, it's still open on Wednesday or Thursday. If yeah, they can show up uh, the next day, and then and then we'll get them registered and all that stuff. Uh, it's harder on by the third day, though, to get them the T-shirts and stuff like that in time. But by the second day, we still can make it for them. Okay, so if for some reason you can't get out there on Tuesday, still available. Uh, it's going to be at the Tiger Pit, right? Yep. Okay, so it'll be at the Tiger Pit. And uh, great opportunity to get involved. And I should also point out, you know, I mean, this is a fundraiser for the Alamogordo Lady Tiger basketball program. You're helping to support all of these ladies that are in here and and uh, and help out when, when the season rolls around because uh, certainly there's a lot of costs that go with uh, putting a basketball team on the road throughout the yes, entire season. Yes, yes. So, um, you know, back to looking forward to, to next season, you know, it it certainly seems that you know you've you've got this this group working together as a team. Maybe we're not going to see one person star like we did as much last season, but uh, you know it's going to sounds like it's going to take the entire group to really have a successful season for y'all. Yeah, year. and and I'm still expecting. Usually on every team, there's going to be one a couple kids kind of rise up, and then we're just going to see who that's going to be because um, you always need that. You need that person to lean on or those couple of people to lean on uh, helps everybody else. Um, find their role the what we really need to find is going to be our depth um like i said there we just have young kids left and and which is fine and i'm talking about kids coming into eighth ninth and tenth grade we've got a lot of them in the gym right now so and they and they've got some talent they're they're young and they're talented it's just obviously they have lack experience but so we got a couple kids coming off injuries um they're going to be ready around the season so i uh, got two acl tears last year and they're going to be cleared right kind of when the season starts so we're going to have to work them in so they won't get the summer time like these girls so it's going to be a matter of finding the depth 
and that's what we're going to be working on at the beginning of the year. But I'm excited. I um, Again, these girls have known that they've got a challenge because we have, like you said, it, it has been built, and it's, it's kind of going in the right direction, and it's a matter of keeping it going, even with uh, – with looking at the depth that we're looking at we're gonna we're gonna have to figure it out so it's gonna be an interesting year i'm excited for the challenge and i think they are too and we're gonna see which girls rise up all right and it's nmsu you said coming up this weekend where else are you guys so we'll go to mexico state this weekend and then we'll go to roswell the following weekend and then we'll go to uh, mayfield the, the next weekend after that and the last weekend of the month we'll actually host our big one so we have a lot of teams that come to ours now third third year in a row we're doing it and it's, it's a pretty good size. All right. Well, we'll look forward to that and uh, look forward to seeing what uh, this team brings coming up in the fall. But obviously uh, the next uh, w- a couple weeks you guys got some opportunities to go out and watch these ladies play. Certainly that last week into June, uh, there will be a lot of good teams here uh, at the Tiger Pit playing girls basketball. So we'll look forward to it. Ladies, good luck. Enjoy the summer, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Charles. All right.